Another programming reminder, we got some NBA love. Two of the West's best clash today when the Blazers ride into Dallas. Game time, 2 p.m. Eastern, right after we're done on ESPN. The first 27 years of the Super Bowl, just 12 different teams won the Super Bowl. Over the last 10 years, including this year, because one of these teams will be different, eight different teams will have won the Super Bowl the last 10 years. Can our brother get some free agent-induced parody, please? For one final report, let's go out to Ed Werder and the Raiders. Ed? Bill Callahan talked to his team uh, last night about the Barrett Robinson situation, but only vaguely, according to players. He said uh, he spoke for about two minutes. He did not explain Robbins' disappearance. He did tell them only that Adam True would be the starting center. Uh, the players are only now, as they get up and begin to attend team breakfast, that uh, he has been sent home and will not play in this game. We just spoke with Drew Pittman, the agent representing Barrett Robbins, who would give no detail as to what it was he was doing rather than preparing with his team the day before Super Bowl 37. For a report on the Bucks, let's go to Sal Palantonio. Well, Ed, we tried to get the Tampa Bay Bucks to talk about this unprecedented Barrett Roberts situation, but they are in lockdown mode. In a team meal, and the first buses leave for Qualcomm Stadium at 11 a.m. in about 15 minutes from now. But the bottom line is this, as Tom Jackson said, common sense with dictates do. If you give this Bucks defense any psychological or physical advantage, you are asking for trouble. All right, guys, thank you very much. We are talking Super Bowl. We're also talking Super Bowl records. I once knew a guy who threw for six touchdowns in a Super Bowl. Steve Young is qualified to talk Super Bowl. Steve? Hey, thanks, Stu. You know, Jerry Rice and I found ourselves on the field for Super Bowl 30 as a part of the pregame ceremonies and the coin flip as an MVP, previous MVPs. As the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers were being introduced, Jerry turned to me kind of with a tear in his eye and basically said, I never, ever, ever want to be on this field again unless I'm in a uniform. Well, it took him eight years to get back in a uniform for a Super Bowl, and I sat down with him earlier in the week to find out what took you so long. There is a man, a certain man, and for the poor you may be sure that he'll do all he can. With wealth and fame, he's still the same. I'll bet you five you're not alive if you don't know this thing. I never look at myself as being at my pinnacle, that I can't learn anything else, that I can't get better. And, and I think that's why I continue to work hard. I have sacrificed for so many years. People just don't realize. They have no idea. That, you know, they think, uh, you know, that that is just natural. But it's something you have to go and work for. And, and, and even, even though you work, edit doesn't guarantee anything do you think people understand that out on the street do you think they understand the commitment that it takes i don't think so they think it's so natural they, they think don't. it's just natural but you know it's something I, I really have really developed over the years and, and and i'm still working at it and and you know it's like you always have to have to sharpen your knife you know what i'm saying you, ha you have to go out there and you have to work on those routes and and like before practice i'm out there running routes and 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 I'm visualizing, you know, different situations. The night before, you know, this Super Bowl, the, the Saturday night, I know I'm gonna be up pacing around. I know, I'm basically gonna know exactly what's gonna happen in that game. The opportunities, you know, that I'm gonna have. If you thought of the memory that you have from each Super Bowl, from 23 in Miami, oh I guess I said, you remember, one, what's the one thing you remember about that? Uh, the final drive. The 49ers have a long way to go. It's the rise now. It's such a sight to watch this. It's almost like poetry. The next year, we were in New Orleans against Denver. What do you remember about that one? Just, you know, uh, all week long, we heard about the safeties, you know, being just impact nasty. hitters. Just real <laughs> nasty. But, you know, the thing we noticed is that, you know, uh, when they delivered a blow or something like that, they didn't wrap up. And I think uh, on that first possession, you know, I was able to catch the ball over the middle. They hit you, right. And, and get you it like it bouncing out, yeah, don't you? you know? <laughs> okay, 94 in Miami uh, versus San Diego. What's your memory? We had to strike fast, and we knew the safeties, that we could double move the safeties, and, uh, and we struck fast I and remember put points on the board. Across the middle, catch by right. Four years ago, John L.A. wins it. That's it. It's the great moment. It's like every other player says, gee, if I could just win my Super Bowl and go out. How much have you thought about it? Does it go through your mind? You, you see what happened to him? It, it would have to because that, you know, that would be the ideal 
uh, we ready all talk to go about out. Don't yeah, we? yeah. <laughs> it, really, that's what you dream about, you know. But I'm just gonna just wait and make that decision. I don't want to rush into it. Are you at peace with I've played enough football? Oh yeah. So it's not like you, myself. Okay, so you're, you're kind of I'm I'm at a place now where I can truly make that decision. I think yeah, I'm at a place, but I think the thing is. For so many years, there was so much pressure. I could not enjoy the game. Just get into the playoffs. That was okay. not good enough for us. Okay. That was a disappointing season if we didn't win the entire thing. That's right. And with that pressure, you know, you know, sometimes you're not going to be able to enjoy it. And now, uh, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just enjoying every second of it. I can look in the stands and and, and I can hear people chant my name. I can see little kids and their eyes, you know, just all, you know, just wide open, you know, when I run on the field. And that's something I could not do for years. You know, sitting down with my old friend, I got the sense that emotionally, physically, mentally, it's okay with him if he leaves the game. What better way to do it than with a Super Bowl victory? You know what? No matter who you're rooting for today, make sure you save a cheer for the greatest to ever play. Back to you, Stu. Thanks a lot, Steve. 40 years old, Jerry Rice says, if he wins a Super Bowl, does he retire after this season? Do you think? Forget win or loss. Yeah, he'll be back. Yeah, he'll be back. You don't retire when you catch 90-plus balls. Over the last six quarters, the Raiders, 81% called pass plays. User-friendly for wide receiver. He'll be back. All right, guys, we appreciate it. We appreciate the love. Hey, hey, I know y'all are cheering and you're having fun, but you got about four hours and some change left to get to the stadium. Hurry. Stay with us here on ESPN. Coming up next, Boxing Wells and his headband. We'll go up against the Dallas Mavericks. NBA Hoops coming up. We're coming back to wrap up the show.